Hello you guys and welcome to the Abu Dhabi Terminal A. It's a brand new terminal but also a brand new airport technically. So we should go inside, have a look and also we are flying in business class to Rome today. So shall we go? Let's go. As soon as you walk into the terminal, you're just shocked about how huge this building is. The high ceilings with glass windows and the massive structure itself, I was just amazed about being there as you can see. This terminal was actually supposed to open years ago, but apparently there were some troubles with the roof, so I'm just glad it's finally opened and we finally get to enjoy the new airport in the Gulf. And I'm sure this will upgrade your Etihad experience to another level and I'm glad they are finally entering their new era. So this is the dedicated check-in area for first class and business class customers and it's not as separated as it used to be in the old terminal but it's still pretty nice and like open space, love it! I just walked through the passport control without actually scanning my passport. So basically there's like face recognition thing that kind of just finds your <laughs> face and the gate will open. That's it. It's as easy. I don't need my passport anymore. <laughs> you guys, I've been waiting for this terminal to open up for years now. I guess I'm not the only one, but I booked this ticket only for this and I'm so happy that I'm finally here experiencing the brand new airport. It's so nice. So I made it to the Etihad Business Class Lounge. It actually has three floors. Starting at the ground level, there's a food court with some food options. Uh, you have hot, cold, uh, also some appetizers, so many stuff. And it kind of feels like a shopping mall food court, not gonna lie, but it's not that bad. Uh, it's really nice and spacious. Compared to the old terminal, it's definitely an improvement. Speaking of improvement, the view of the tarmac is beautiful here. Uh, it's basically at any point in the lounge, you get to see the tarmac and I love it. Uh, you get to see the planes and everything. When you get to the second floor, uh, there's a like a narrow area and so many different uh, seating uh, options with some uh, cold beverages. Also, there are some snacks and there's like many other stations uh, in between. And when you get to the top floor, there's actually a bar with a nice seating as well, uh, overviewing the tarmac from the highest uh, point. You can have a drink, obviously, and there's really nice view from this lounge. I do have to <laughs> say it again, it's just fabulous. Apart from the view, there's also a games room and showers. Uh, given the fact that this terminal is huge, I was expecting a little bit bigger room of the shower itself, uh, but still, compared to the old terminal. Oh my God, this is huge. So let me know what you think about this one. And if you would like to see what was the old experience like at the old terminal, you can go ahead and follow me here on YouTube because uh, the new video from the old terminal is coming up soon. And now it's time to head out to the gate. Overall, the experience at the new terminal was pretty decent. Modern design is definitely something to acknowledge and everything was quick and easy. But I might have expected something more extra, like a completely separated entrance or maybe a la carte restaurant at the lounge. But now let's move on because we are flying from Abu Dhabi on a 6 hour flight to Rome in business class and I'll show you what's new on Etihad, because there are some news. Today's flight is operated by Boeing 787-10, which has business class cabin in 1-2-1 configuration. As you can see, the aisle seats lack of privacy. That's why I highly recommend getting the window seats, as they are really private. You can also grab the middle seats, and if you are not flying alone, you can pull down the divider. 
so I just boarded a plane. This is my C12 Alpha. There was a mattress pad, which is actually a new thing on Etihad. They came up with a collaboration with Armani Casa. And there's a new pillow as well with a brand new blanket, which to be honest, is not as fluffy as it used to be before but I still like it, it's not that bad. But I just prefer the previous one. It's called Business Class Studio and uh, they're actually coming up with a new suite uh, on their Dreamliner soon as well. It's gonna be a modified version of the A350 suite that they have. I've flown on their Dreamliner so many times in the past. I've done over 15 long haul business class flights, I think, in this exact C type. And overall, it's my favorite, one of my favorites. And yeah, it's very comfortable. It's private at the same time, even though it's missing a door. Uh, yeah, love it. I hope you will too. Hello, Hi, sorry. Man. How are you? Hopefully some fresh orange juice, lemon uh, and mint, champagne, water. Champagne, please. Yeah. Here's the pretty part to drink. I went for champagne. I don't really drink, but you know, when they offer it. That's all the Yes, thank you. Hi. Hi. Nice Hi. to meet you, Mr. Adam. My name is Sabrina, and today, today along with the team, we'll be taking care of you. May I ask you what would you like to drink after takeoff? Uh, I think I'll do the Berliner, the mocktail. The mocktail, sure. They're gonna be offering some uh, beef short ribs. Let's do the braised beef short ribs. Okay, sure. As this is the second new flight uh, from Abu Dhabi to Rome at 2 p.m. instead of 3 a.m., the menu is still the old one from the previous flight, so they hadn't had time to really modify it yet. So that's why the cabin crew had to came up with the new menu and I had to choose from pictures, which was fine, uh, at least something. But yeah, this paper menu is kind of useless, only for the beverages. <laughs> anniversary amenity kit it looks really nice from outside it's a new thing uh, to celebrate it so let me open it up so there's an eye mask also with some socks there's a toothbrush this is like a small booklet from Etihad regarding their 20th anniversary here's a hand sanitizer <laughs> some extra sanitizing vibes as well a hand lotion face mist, earplugs, also a lip ball. These 20th anniversary amenities are from the brand called Espa. However, their normal Etihad amenity kit is from brand Aqua di Parma. I don't really know what the thinking behind is, that they changed the brand just for this anniversary kit, but I'm glad that there's something new, right? Thank you. You guys, Etihad and their catering will always surprise me. So this is the Arabic Mezze, uh, which obviously is top notch, as you can see. Even the menus are always so customized. However, they do serve it on one single tray, which is not really a thing when it goes to Qatar Airways, for example. They would uh, go plate by plate, but overall it looks awesome and delicious. Let me just go for it. straight from five-star restaurant you would never say that this is an airplane meal the presentation how they serve it it's just such a nice experience you guys i don't know if you can like see through the video sitting here and experiencing it all i can't even describe it ready for the dessert thank yeah yeah let's do yeah. it <laughs> perfect thank you Now it's time to show you why is this seat one of my most favorite in the sky. Starting off with the tray table, anytime there's a food or something, I can just get up and leave the seat anytime. Nothing is limiting me here. Love this. Another thing is the bath. Let me show you. 
when you recline the seat to go lie flat, it's very comfortable. I'm not saying it's the best seat in the whole sky, because obviously there are some first class seats or maybe even business class seats that might feel a little bit more comfortable, but this one is fully lie flat. It's pretty private and at the same time the legroom isn't that bad either. What do you guys think? Wow, I never had nachos on board before. <laughs> it looks spectacular, thank you. Yeah. Okay, so here are the nachos. Should I even eat it with like the cutlery? It doesn't kind of make sense. So if you are wondering, there are some nachos chips, obviously. Uh, then I can see there's like a pulled chicken. Uh, also, there's a lot of uh, cheese. I think it's cheddar. It's not like a proper meal. That's why it's in the all day menu. It's such a good idea to have nachos on board. I <laughs> love it. We just started our descent and look at me! Oh, thank you! Hot towel and ice latte before arrival is just instant wake-up call. <laughs> so let me just summarize this flight real quick. Uh, overall, I had a nice experience. I love the new terminal. You have to go and see for yourself. Uh, the catering was great, even though they didn't have the printed menu, uh, the paper menu yet. And yeah, the crew was attentive. Uh, they were really nice offering me beverages throughout the flight. And I will choose Etihad again for sure. If you want to support me, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel and comment below if you would like to fly Etihad.